Okay, so I've I've downloaded the uh, QUnit sample project, and I can fire it up, fire up the JS test driver server, and capture Firefox. And come back here and run my unit tests, and they seem to work uh, as as you would expect, right? This this is basically it. It it works uh, when I download the sample project. Uh, so okay. Great, things are working. Now here comes the crux of my problem. I've I've got a, a scripts directory in a, a MVC application, and I want to start testing my uh, my JavaScript uh, using the JS test driver. So what I've done is I file open directory on my scripts folder, uh, created a test folder inside of that, uh, and then created a very simple uh, QUnit test. And here's my test, no problem, and uh, WebStorm is prompting me to uh, add the QUnit adapter for JS test driver. Okay, great. Let's do that. Uh, it wants to add it as uh, an external library. I go ahead and do that, and now they show up over here. Uh, okay, that's great. Um, what now? W what do I do now? So, let's see. Let's start up the JS test driver server. Let's uh, capture Firefox again. And uh, I don't know. Let's let's right click here and let's let's run that. Okay. Unable to attach test reporter to test framework or test framework. Q unit unexpectedly quit. Okay. Well, let's let's go look at the sample project. Uh, sample project has this uh, JSTD file, um, but it's also got the the library files uh, as a part of the project. They're not a part of this external libraries thing that that WebStorm set up for me. Uh, I'm not. I'm I'm just not quite sure what it is I'm supposed to do, and I I can't find any documentation that that shows me you know how to go about setting up my own project uh, to use the JS test driver. Uh, I hope this explains my my confusion and explains a little better what it is I'm trying to accomplish, uh, especially uh, a better explanation than 140 characters on Twitter. Uh, thank you.